guys, with your allergic today we will do amazing mod, VRM mod for MacBook Pro 16 2019 with Core i9. 9980H and uh, 5500M uh, RX uh, AMD graphic 4GB. The top is powerful enough and uh, if you put the bootcamp you can basically play the old games but unfortunately the VRM getting hot as you know already from YouTube and from uh, many other uh, researches and posts over the internet and uh, doesn't provide sufficient power uh, for our uh, components such as CPU and GPU. So basically we will open, we will clean and we will apply this mod for the VRM. Uh, we will use, uh, just receive from Amazon uh, the set of the thermal pads 0.5 millimeter, 1 millimeter and 1.5 millimeter, 50 by 50 millimeters each. Okay guys, let's start. Uh, this is our thermal pad set. As you can see, three pack, yeah. Basically you have 12.8 uh, uh, watt. Uh, then uh, we will use our beautiful set. We will use also uh, anti-static gloves. And uh, we will try it, to do it uh, for uh, people who is not, uh, let's say professionals with this kind of things and let's say more newbie because as you can see other guides uh, it's just partial information you know ready-made or how they applying but there is nothing about uh, how to cre uh, cut properly the thermal pads uh, how to open laptop how to disassemble everything you know so basically we will go from that part which I believe is really nice This laptop is pretty weird because it's really crazy when I switch it off and it stays on as soon as I touch uh, the touch bar right away it's powering on without pressing the power button also if I switch off the laptop and close the lid it stays off as soon as I open lid I open in the lid the laptop is starting so I believe must follow this, in this guide uh, the battery disconnection right away because uh, normally normal laptops yeah when it, when you switch off it's off until you really press and hold the power button but this baby is like always semi uh, auto start you know ready to start is in standby Then guys, lift up a little bit forward and pull on the sides. Oh, and you will see. Whew. You see these clips? They need to go under. So basically, this is another clip. One and two. Yeah, guys, so when you're disconnecting, keep in mind, first unscrew everything, then try to pop up, I use the plastic soft card, then as soon as you can put your finger a little bit in, try to pop up the middle, middle one, middle clips, firmly, all good, the middle clips, when it's ready, Guys, when it's ready, right away, you need to pull forward, away from the hinges, pull forward, like this, slowly, but you help with your finger, side by side, to slide out. Okay, guys, let's uh, extract now 
our thermal pads. Yeah, that's fine. So basically 1.5, one millimeter and 0 0.5. We can try to start. We use the Leatherman. Yes. Let's make the line first. Yeah, pretty nice on MM. No, it's too much. 0.5 mm. Yeah. Let's continue. So we need uh, two small pieces. Actually, one millimeter. Mm -hmm. Just to put inside. I believe I should go with three pieces like this. Yeah. One, two. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the first guy. The bottom cover have a plastic. Ha! Huh. Is it some kind of thermal paste? So basically guys, I don't want to remove in the worst case I can remove uh, you know this protection film to improve the heat exchange but there is a like thermal paste inside I was thinking maybe it's like liquid metal no it is thermal paste I don't know for heat dissipation there is some reason behind so I put my G-Skill slim sticker just to hold nicely this corner and still looks nice as you can see
I think it's better if we start Windows, I will bring the power supply, I will connect and we will try to play Dota. Keep in mind, I use the throttle stop to remove the turbo boost. So basically in this way we can keep under 0.875 uh, volts on the core with uh, 2.3 uh, gigahertz on each core, 8 cores, 16 streams with the temperatures now 42, 43 and 47 max on idle <coughs> and the GPU AMD 5500 uh, Rix mobile 44 degrees maximum 44 now holy moly So in order game to be playable before I was keeping like only 2048 by 1280 full screen you can see not ultra high using vertical synchronization put the 60 Hertz screen minimum maximum idle while playing and 75% quality of the screen let's say shader service indeed sound okay now it should be up to 60 and going up and down up and down this is the vertical synchronization working basically now it's 63 degrees on gpu 43 percent utilization of the uh, graphic processing unit and the uh, video memory is uh, 1.7 gigabyte cpu is uh, 60 degrees five percent usage of the cpu cpu is really strong here yeah sure up to 43% graphical usage CPU 6% usage of the CPU with even turbo boost disabled keeping the FPS temperatures are within the limits blowing nice it's warm even probably warmer than before okay let's draw some more power and juice then we will see also how much power we draw in the end okay now we go in really heavy graphic demand we go here hundred percent don't go ultra just high is enough hundred percent rendering everything and here we go into the native resolution of the screen so full resolution full rendering 60 to 70 percent usage of the gpu 69 degrees 67 degrees uh, cpu with five percent usage uh, two gigabyte video six gigabyte ram 5660 solid fps let's see now when it will be a lot of mm -hmm. okay let me play like now it's one minute let me play another like 10 minutes and we will see the temperatures and then i will switch off the game and i will show you the uh, usage in the wattage for the cpu maximum and gpu in total it should be 96 watt but to be honest guys uh, just for your information it's not only the in the peak uh, the 100 watt 96 watt which is using by the components it's also combining the power of the battery so on the peak load for the short time it's also using the battery plus power supply so it can jump over 100 watt the overall peak performance so far it's really steady until now i will before i got a lot of stuttering already an fps drop it's solid 59 58 90 56 59 but this is how the v-sync is working there is no any tearing on the screen as you can see everything is steady 72 degrees before it was really higher it was already close to 80 so i have also temperature drop on the gpu which is very interesting so as you can see guys, uh, 73 degrees, 80-83 percent usage of the GPUs, 70-71 degrees 
CPU with 78% usage. Yeah, 56 FPS. Uh, I didn't change uh, the graphic. Yeah, it's maximum resolution, uh, full screen, 100%, everything maxed. So basically, DirectX 11. And it's 11 and 25 seconds, 11 minutes 25 seconds. Let's see the temperatures. What is visible, invisible. So we never exceed 0 0.879 uh, volt on the CPU and the maximum temperature was 72 degrees on the cores. Cores are even, that's why it's very good uh, cooling and the core temperatures are even. It's like 2 degrees difference between the cores, 70 and 72. Maximum temp uh, medium temperature was 66 degrees average. Uh, maximum the GPU it was 75 and uh, the hot spot on the GPU was 81 degrees with uh, inter um, intermediate 70 degrees uh, Celsius and 75 on the hot spot cooling down very fast so uh, let's see the wattage the core consume in the peak 100 watt the core and uh, 52 it's the GPU ASIC this is uh, GPU ASIC um, all lines plus uh, lines of the core mm -hmm. this is the total 52 watt the consumption total consumption 52 watt let's say this is the peak on the core it jumped to 98 the average on the core yeah it was 51 and the total average it was 34 so let's say from 52 we give the maximum the frequency graphic processor it was 1466 so basically we keep the high frequency and then now medium is average is going down because now we are not using yeah so it was keeping 1466 the CPU uh, power consumption was uh, maximum 16 watt it was not used much and 16 watt uh, and the average was around 11.5 watt because the GPU is turbo boost disabled so actually can be more consumed by the graphic card which is good in our case and I believe uh, this is quite impressive it was uh, hot but not extremely hot at the bottom I believe the test is successful Thanks for watching guys, I can consider the VRM mod for the MacBook Pro 16 2019 successful. Have a nice day and good luck to you all guys.